Hello everybody, Bad Wolf here with another video on modding The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This video is Script Merging Part 3. And in this video I will uh, show you the merging of the non-bundled XML files and the bundled text. I've already pre-selected seven of them that I am going to uh, delete. So that way they will be unmerged. Now, when you're doing the non-bundled XML files and the bundled text files, it's a different process because it's a uh, little bit longer when it merges them together for the reason of that it's opening a blob O file. Uh, blob O files are associated with um, partly with textures uh, and scripts. So that's now come up and as you can see in the bundle text there's these are purple which means that there are priorities and the darker ones take priorities over the grayed out ones. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and click on non-bundled XMLs. Press enter. It's found one. It's, there's a total of two. One was automatically solved. The other one was not. And this one, it's just real simple. It wants, wants to know which one out of the three do I want to add. Well, of course, I am going to choose the first one, the vanilla because that actually shows what it is. Uh, the other is uh, the uh, Chinese encoding and uh, Wasteland Ghost, uh, who created Friendly HUD and Friendly Meditation. She always said you could either pick one of the three, it didn't matter. And so that's all that was done there. But I will look and see it wants to add because it's saying it's no, uh, there's no source line here. And it's in red because there is something that is supposed to be there. And since it's supposed to be there, even though it's vanilla file and it's not part of the friendly HUD or friendly meditation, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add that just because it's, uh, it's supposed to be in there. Well, yeah, it's honestly supposed to be in there, even though it doesn't show it in friendly HUD or friendly meditation. Um, it's not going to hurt the game to put that in there. And even if it did, it would throw out an error when we, when it starts, when we go to start the game and compile, it compiles the scripts. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to choose A on that one to get that in there. Now I will click save and close. Now it's going through the process of detecting all the files again. Like I said, it does this on every single one after you merge it. Uh, and so you don't have a little bit of time to wait. It all depends on how many mods you have. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the next one, which is part of the bundle text. Well, I guess I didn't have to show you that one because it did it automatically. I chose the wrong one for that one. I figured that was something that I needed. That was one that I had to do manually. I didn't write down the ones in the bundle text on which ones that I could show. So forgive me for uh, not choosing the correct one.
All right, let's try the next one and see if that works. I'm going to do the other red one. Ah, uh, here we go. We might actually get to see something here. Uh, right now, as you can see, it's showing it's it as it's showing it's searching for the uh, uh, vanilla bundle. There is 62 there. 62 were automatically solved. Here we go. This is what we wanted to see. Okay, so there's 67. They found it's it found 67 uh, conflicts, and it solved 55 of them. And there's still 12 that we need to do. We'll click on OK. All right, now let me wind this screen. This is a real handy mod to have. It's called Stack Your Items. If you have played the game before, uh, there would be a whole lot of inventory that you pick up. Like uh, a lot of it is uh, plant based. Uh, and then also you have uh, loot items of uh, junk, jewelry, pearls, things like that. Well, with Stack Your Items, it allows you to stack up to 999 items before it will create a new stack in your inventory to keep it more uh, compact in inventory. Um, I can't remember that. Actually, it'll let me know in here. The, van the vanilla is only a hundred and then it would it would go to the next slot and start stacking them all over again but like i said that would create a large size inventory so and the one that's already in the, the bundle context content is a thousand i don't believe a thousand works uh, it will make it a hundred still, and the mod stack your items. It, you're changing it to nine hundred ninety nine. Now you can do this on your own uh, without using a mod, but you have to go into each and every uh, bundle text content uh, bundle text and change it. Whereas if you use a mod, it's easier. And then you can do this uh, of selecting. So each one of these is going to be uh, C because we're going to change it to, we're going to use a stack your items. So I'm just going to go uh, click on C and the triple down arrow each and every time to get through all 12 of them. That's number three four none of these will change it's always going to be uh c unless it it pulls up something else and i don't believe it will it's i don't i do believe it's only the stack your items that it's wanting to wanting me to merge and we're getting ready to come up on the last one that's the very last one so i save and I close, and now it's packing the bundle. Now it's doing its checks and closing the KDF3 program. Unfortunately, with the mod limit fix, it made me grab more mods, mods which, as you can tell, it takes uh, it takes a while to load up. If you don't choose that many mods, if you don't have that many mods, then, then this uh, will go a lot quicker in loading up. 
Okay, now I'm going to do one more before I end part three of the video. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep these videos smaller so that way you get more information quicker and you're not sitting through 30 minutes of video. Okay, there's only one on this one, which is good. So there's the vanilla. This is the bundle of content. And this one is uh, Witcher's Lair uh, pictures and swords, which means it's adding uh, more paintings that you can put in your house in uh, Corvo Bianco. And it is also adding more um, places to put your swords that you collect because i collect i collect the source uh this guy collects the swords just about uh i well not i shouldn't say just about all of them i i collect the ones that are uh rare or or um what is that magical i think it's been a while since i played the game that's why i'm trying to get back into it so i can refresh my memory on on them okay so i want to see how it ends there in the in the bundle bundled content and we're here it shows the same thing but it is it is changing one of the pictures one of the paintings i should say so i want to choose that one see save and close it out that's the only one that has to be done in this bundle. Um, but as I was saying, um, I've chosen a lot more mods. So this this portion of it where it's uh, detecting, it takes longer than what it normally does. Well, the, the more mods you have, the longer it takes. The less mods you have, of course, obviously, it's just uh, the less time it takes. It used to be that when it was a, a hard brick wall 25 mod limit, it could go real quick because you didn't have that many to do. All right, let's go ahead. I'll, I've got a little bit more time here. I'll go ahead and I will do this one. All right, only one that needs to be done, and it is uh, adding in. Oh, I see what it's doing. It's a it's difference between uh, ESGO and the Witcher Lore Collection. Witcher Lore Collection adds in a lot of the uh, books and notes from the previous games, and then uh, also unlocks other notes that should have been unlocked in the game. But uh, CD Projekt Red forgot to put the trigger in order for that certain note or book to show up so while this shows that the level max is a thousand this one is a player level max is a hundred we want to keep it at a hundred for when you know we're able to see this it, it, maximum level you, you can see it is a hundred you won't be able to see it anything higher but then again even the new play game plus you can't go over a hundred anyway unless they made a mod for, to fix that. But I don't know why you would want to go over 100. Eh, teach his own. So I am going to click the one for the Witcher Lore Collection. Save. Close out. All right, so now in order to uh, end this on um, a good note, those were three productive ones to merge together uh when doing the non tech uh, yeah the non text xml and the oh i'm sorry not non text xml the non merged xml and the uh the bundled text those are a lot easier because those are, are ones where it's either or, not uh, both. 
uh, and it's just uh, it's it's quicker to go through uh, what you want to add or over whatever or uh, but it does it, it may be easier and quicker that way but it does take a little bit of time to uh, interject the uh, blob o file and making a new bundle and all that so it basically washes out but it's a lot less uh it's a lot less of a headache all right well thank you for watching part three of the script merger and uh, i'm going to do one more video of uh script merging that's going to be a part four and i'm going to show you uh, these uh, scripts, NPC, and the Player Witcher, and uh, that will be the fourth and final part. Uh, I won't be doing any more of the script merging. I think uh, by the time the fourth one ends, uh, you should be fairly confident and uh, knowledgeable in what to choose over uh, what not to choose or interjecting uh, to this needing both of them to be in the same uh, merge. Thank you for watching and good luck on the path.